like to introduce you our server app to see how it works here. So this is the main menu of our smart control system. Here we have device and you can see what kind of device are there in the server app and the quantity of each type of device. Electricity measurement. You see there are energy measurements here every day and even it can be calculated by device type. You see trunking light, emergency light, high bay, high bay with motion, CCT panel. Right? And let's see the next one is failure alerts. As you can see here there are two failed items. Then I can see oh it's a CCT panel that failed. But where it is? Let's check. Ah it's this one in red. So it's very clear for the customer to see those failed items. And failure alert can be generated as a report to send to your email as well. Zone. See, this is the layout of our booth in Guangzhou Lighting Fair. And this is where we are at the moment. We already added our Zigbee devices and locate them in the right places. And you see here we have CCT panel group and we can do dimming and color temperature also the on and off here. All right? Let's see. Schedule. We can set unlimited schedules here. Start time, end time and set the type of repeats whether want to have fade in and fade out function or not. Scenario. You can add scenarios. Choose the photo, add the scenario name, enter fade in and fade out time if you want it, and select the devices and select the status. Okay? Heat map is the new function from our system. Here, the color with different activation time is already set. So you see we have total six motion sensors and this one is now being activated for more than 1000 times. So it's in pink, uh, orange and this green, this two, three, uh, this one, between 500 and 0 to 1000 times. And we have two that's less than 500 times. So here we can select day period and we can select time period, statistics or animation. This shows how it changes. Report. Different kinds of reports. Device status reports, energy consumption reports or failure reports. many things here. Account management here with the server, one admin account and unlimited sub-accounts. Device library are something that you can set before you add the Zigbee devices. If I click here, then I can enter the product name, product part number and here even we have the lifespan for each lamp. So say 5,000 hours and it will count down the lifetime we can add the different uh, icon for the right device. So that's the device library. And parameter setting. There are so many settings uh, for some detailed requirement. Save device status is to save the device status after it's power off. For example, now it's 50% brightness and then power off and power on again. If you want to go to 50% after power off and power on, then we need to choose this button. If not, if this is not chosen, then the device will go to 100% brightness once it's power off and power on. Drag and drop map. When we do the programming, we need to drag and drop everything on the map. But after everything is done, better to close this so that people won't miss up with our setting. High 
of high alert. Sensor reactivating time is important if you have uh, motion sensor or light sensor control. For example, um, our system listens to the last command. So even if it's under sensor control, if we use a remote control to control the lights, after that, the sensor will no longer activate. So we need to write the right time here to ask the sensor to take on hold again later on. Emergency light, this is for emergency. Emergency function test, minimum light brightness to enable the daylight sensor, heat animation and whatever. And backup and recovery. This is important. If the customer finished programming, the whole system but after some days the end user missed up something then the customer can pick up the data to a micro SD card bring it together with me once he needs to come back and reprogram again then just plug in the micro SD card and click recovery and then all the programming will be recovered this is important and we can set uh, reports sent by email so we can choose the report period uh, report frequency and here we have send the email address authorization code and we need to set the recipe and addresses as well so after all this is done choose the reports that you want to email click save then from now on you are able to receive a report of say electricity measurement and emergency light auto test okay this is for Port setting and system info. All right, that's all for our server app. If you have any questions, contact us at www.amlab.com.